For today's Monday Makeup lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this look using a new palette. I love these mauve tones and it's such an easy, soft, glam look, perfect for this time of year. Now, if you enjoy these type of videos, please give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. I've applied primer all over the lid. This is going to give the eyeshadow something to hold on to and also create a blank canvas for us to work on. Also, we are going to be using matte shadows and a good base is really essential. Mattes can be a little tricky particularly for beginners. So it's important that you apply a primer. This is going to give the matte eyeshadow something to grip onto. This is the palette that we're using today. It's the Emily in Paris palette. Now I'm not really a fan of the show and I'm not usually a fan of palettes that aren't square or rectangular, but this palette just won me over and it's perfect for February because it's a heart. I love the fact that this palette is also split into three quads. So we have four eyeshadows, we have the four golden nudes, we have the mauvey nudes and the smoky shimmers. We're going to be focusing on the mauvey quad today and I'm going to be applying that using the Blank Canvas Cosmetics One Stop Eye Brush Set. So we have three brushes in here and we're going to apply four eyeshadows. Starting with this flat fluffy brush, I'm going to pick up the medium mauve matte eyeshadow and I'm going to be applying this all over the lid. Now this is a matte shade and some matte shades can be very easily over or under blended. So it's important to very slowly build this up, press as you go. And that's also why that base was really important because mattes can create an uneven texture and an even finish. So a good base and good application will go a long way when it comes to mattes. And this brush is actually perfect for applying matte eyeshadows because it blends as you go. Because it's both flat, but also has that slight little fluffy edge, we're going to get a much better finish that's kind of soft on the edges, but nicely pressed on there. And as you can see, I've only coated one side of the brush. Now this is to prevent the eyeshadow from being applied too high in the crease. However, as you apply this, you're gonna slowly have less and less product on the brush. And then what you can do is you can flip the brush around and you can press it into the crease and that way you end up dispersing the eyeshadow upwards, but still not applying too much. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. Completely covered lid with a slightly contoured crease. Taking the deep mauve shade and a pencil brush, this is from that same set, I'm going to be focusing this on the lower outer part of the lid. So avoid bringing this up past the medium mauve shade. We want to keep this depth on this outer edge. So I want you to very slowly build this upwards and prevent yourself from going up too high. It's really important to keep it quite low because it will throw off the shape that we've created with the original mauve tone. So keep it nice and low and keep it to that outer third. Taking a clean brush next, I'm going to very lightly blend over the eye area. Using a clean brush so that's free of any eyeshadow will just make sure you're very lightly blurring. And that's what we want. Bear in mind, because we are using matte eyeshadows, we want to make sure that our blend is maybe like three to five seconds only and very lightly gliding over the skin. You really don't need to do too much work. Now taking that pencil brush again, I want to add a little bit more depth. So I'm using the bronzy tone. Now this has a hint of shimmer in it and that adds a little bit more depth because it adds that kind of texture in there. And I love the way that you can kind of mix and match the different textures. It adds a lot more of a depth. It adds a beautiful glossy kind of finish, but it's still really wearable at the same time. So you don't have to be worried about it being too shimmery. And you should end up with something that looks like this. To finish the look, I'm taking the lightest eyeshadow and using my fingertips to press this on the inner edge. Again, just add a little bit more of a different texture, a little bit more depth. 
Moving away from the eyeshadows for a moment, I want to talk about the waterline. So I want the waterline to be nice and clean, and the best way to do this is to apply a creamy tone or skin matching toned pencil. Please avoid whites unless you have very, very pale skin, because whites can look quite harsh, but a cream or skin matching tone will definitely add that fresh, clean look. Before I apply mascara and lashes, I'm going to sweep a mixture of the mauve tones and the bronze tone underneath the eyes. This is using the pencil brush. Again, totally optional. I just find it adds a little something extra to that little bit more defined look. And there you go. That is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one.